Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about how we can make use of the image upload feature on Open Web UI. So by the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding about how you can upload images and get some response back from any language model on Open Web UI. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off with, I'm going to first go over to my admin panel. Here, I'm going to go to settings, select models, and I'm going to pull a model from olama.com. Now, here you might say, well, don't I already have a list of all of these different models like the Llama, the Nemotron, the Phi 3? Well, yes, the only issue is that not all language models are multimodal, meaning that not all language models can look at an image and give some sort of a response back from the image. So what I would do here is I'm going to scroll down and you can see that I have access to Lava. And Lava is a novel end-to-end -end trained large multimodal model. So it combines a vision encoder and by CUNA for general purpose visual and language understanding. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, what version of Lava do I want? The 7 bill, the 13 bill, or the 34 billion parameter? Well, size makes a difference. So 7 billion parameters is going to be much smaller. It's only going to be about 4.7 gigabits of memory. However, the 34 bill parameter is almost 20 gigs. So the issue here is that when we try to use a 34 billion parameter model, we're going to need to have the computational resources and hardware to be able to use that model. So I do have access to that compute resource, so I can, up I can take this model. But if you run into some issues, then feel free to just select the 7 bill parameter model. The 34 bill will perform better in some circumstances, but the seven bill parameter is still going to be able to give you a response back. So all you would do is select this one, copy it, go in here and you can paste it. Once you paste it, you would just select download. And that's pretty much how you'll be able to pull the lava model from Olama. Now I've already pulled the lava 34 bill parameter model. So what I'm going to do is to upload an image and I'll start with an image of an x-ray and I'm going to say describe this image as much as possible. Be very detailed. Give as much information as you can. So this is going to end up taking a, taking a second because it is going to, especially the first time that you're running it, because it is actually going to have to load that model into memory. So just the first time that you actually run this model, it will take a while. And we can see that it is actually able to detect that this is an image of a chest x-ray of a person. Um, it's showing a skeleton structure of thorax. Lungs are visible. There is a slight asymmetry in the rib cage. It doesn't si seem significant enough to suggest a major health issue. Um, and it says, I'm just an AI assistant at the end. So this is how we can make use of the Lava model. Now we do also have other models. So let's just say we try to use the ChatGPT 4.0 model and we give it the same exact image and prompt. So we give it this image, same exact prompt. Let's see the response back we get from ChatGPT 4.0. Okay, so it says it's a high-res chest x-ray and skeleton structure. Ribs are clearly visible. Spine is seen running down the middle. Um, shoulders are visible. There seems to be no dislocation. It's talking about the lungs. The branching shadows of the bronchial tree are faintly visible on the center regions. These are pathways that carry air, no significant opacities, which could indicate fluid, infection, or masses at present at first glance and uh, see it does give a very detailed and thorough description. I'm sure that if you did some more prompt refinement or even understood how the lava model is trained maybe we could even get some sort of a detailed response from this model as well. Remember that every model is trained differently and some models would require much more of a not a thorough prompt strategy but just a different prompting strategy. So it's important to always look at the documentation as well. So just like how we were using the Lava model, what we would do is 
we try to understand, for example, what's the best way in which we can prompt this model. So we could go maybe to their GitHub page or the Hugging Face repository for that model. And we can see what are all the different things that people have done um, to query this model as well. But that's it for this video. Hopefully it gives you a detailed understanding about how you can upload images um, on the open web UI interface. I know it's a very important tool that a lot of people like to use, especially when they want to provide some sort of an image as the input and want to get a response back. So hopefully this video helped you understand how you can set that up with both the chat GBT 4.0 as well as the lava model as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.